Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global, joined by Mr. Jack Finch. It's been a while on camera. It's been a while on camera, but I've just swallowed a bit of that protein. It's stuck in my, my throat. <laughs> good start. There. Good start. How are you, mate? Very well. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Jack, of course, um, whenever a, a celebrity or someone who's not directly yeah. involved in boxing wants to turn over, a bit of profile, uh, boxing fans always have the same reaction. So we'll, we'll first start off. Um, why did you decide to turn pro? Right, so this, I've, what, I've, addressed, I've addressed this loads of times with people. Like, this isn't something I've just decided to go, oh, well, I've got a profile now, so I'm going to go and turn pro. Like, I, had a, I had an amateur background. I was a decent amateur. Obviously, like, I picked up bad habits, and Ben's getting me out of the bad, the bad habits and you know, you know, help, help me learn more. But I come from a boxing background. Like, my family will box. I boxed since my first fight, I think I was 13. I had like 26 in total. And then I just thought to myself, do you know what? Like, it's like a dream of mine I've always wanted to sort of realise. And then when I was sort of doing bits of work around the sport, you end up going, oh, do you know what I mean? You, you sort of want to get back in there. Mm. So that's what made me think, I want to go back in and have another one. And, uh, and I, but now I'm, you know, in the best like, mental place I've ever been, the best physical shape I've been in, in in many years. I want to see how far I can take it. Okay. Like, why not? Why can't I go and win a Southern Era title down the line one day, why not? You used to train with Archie Sharp, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Archie's a very, very good friend of mine, very close friend of mine. So, you, you've had an amateur background, mm. just uh, tell us a I mean, little bit. I mean, that's, that's how we know, that's how me and Archie don't know each other. So me and Archie, when we were little boys, yeah. we grew up, we, we both, both, both boxed the Elton Boxing Club, then we moved to Body Shots, and then I went back to Elton and had my last fight when I was like 24 for Elton. Um, but that's how we're friends, we boxed for the same club, club you know, going up, growing up as a kid, little kids, and uh, he's smashed it, done really well. How many? He's got to. I think he was. I'm, I remember back in amateurs, yeah, and it rarely happens in amateurs. He went like, I'm sure, he went like twenty and zero in amateurs, and uh, you don't really see that much. Like at one point, I think his first loss was in like the Europeans or something like that. How many did you have then as an amateur? Twenty six. Okay. Mm. So, was there was there a moment after you kind of finished your amateur career? You... I remember exactly what happened. Yeah, go on. So, I had my first senior fight, won it, got boxed for the night, and I thought, oh yeah. And then I realised I had to work and he's out, and I started having a <laughs> having to go and have a little drink and stuff. So I took a back foot. Then I thought, then I got to about I had like a few years out, and then I got to about twenty four. I thought, I'm gonna have another pop at it. Obviously, no head guards. Boxed at eighty one kilos, whereas the frame I was at, I should have really done seventy five kilos. Got it on the top of there, <laughs> big bowling right hand. Went down on one knee and thought, what the fuck am I doing back in here? <laughs> and I remember my trainer said to me, he said, when you come back to the corner after that first round, he said, your eyes are meeting in the middle. I got through the fight and he get the, the, the but it's a very good uh, kid actually, he boxed, he boxed double jab, I think he's turning over as well. And um, he gave me a standing neck count in a second. And I remember my old amateur coach, instead of like, it wasn't actually the main coach, it was just someone else that was at the club. Instead of sort of like saying, all always said was, welcome to senior boxing, son. And then just like walked off and I went, right, I don't do this no more. And then obviously my interest for the sport still stayed there. So I managed to pick up some work in and around it and I just got the bug back for it. But this time I'm taking it 100 million cent serious. Okay. So you make your professional debut soon. Mm. Before we come on to that, just uh, tell me how you linked up with Ben and how it's going. Ben Davison, obviously. Um, so basically, I, I was um, doing some presenting work on BC Sport. Uh, for Armour Boxer, um, and then we, it was loosely mentioned um, about me turning over and boxing on one of their shows, and then the organisers um, of that show, you know, were lucky enough and give me the opportunity to train with Ben, um, and yeah, so every time I come in, I mean, when I first come in, and I was training with John, like, even being around like people like Josh Taylor and that, it just gives you a buzz. Mm. So I feel lucky that like, every time I'm sort of walk through the doors kind of thing, because it's a massive opportunity not many people get, and I'm taking it to both hands, you know. Of course, Ben's been around boxing for a long time. Yeah, trained the mate, like. He's like, mate, geezer's, 
he's a genius, mate. Like it's like it's weird because it's like I, he, he, he sees things that I wouldn't necessarily see. Do you know what I mean? It's like I, I can I like obviously I love watching boxing, but like he can see things that. To, to that anyone else wouldn't see kind of thing and obviously I'm picking stuff up and I'm trying to learn every single day that I come in and I, I go home and I think about what I've learned over the last couple of hours of being in the gym mm. but yeah it's amazing being here like honestly like, on a genuine note it's amazing being here yeah as I was saying he's trained the likes of uh, Tyson Fury Billy Joe Saunders for a long time yeah working with Josh Taylor currently now yeah Lee McGregor, Lee McGregor. top prospect in Shabazz um, like mate like they're I was, you know, just being around, just even, I feel like even being around people like Shabazz, especially, especially Lee as well, just, just that vibe, like, you just feel like you are, you're around class and, like, I'm a believer in, like, you are who you surround yourself with, so if I can surround myself with the right people, then why can't I be, you know, why can't I get myself to a level like that? Mm. I, I, I really, be, I believe in myself and, the people I've got around me, if, they, if I can't do it with them, then I'm never going to do it, you know? Even though you've got an amateur background mm. and you've been around boxing, etc. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you've got that profile, people on here watching this will still yeah. doubt you. Why do you believe that you'll achieve something in the sport? Look, what I say to everyone that, that, that doubts me, is that they don't, they, all, they, all they go and see is you walk out under the lights with a pair of gloves on and then you're having a fight and you're watching it from your sofa. They don't know what goes into it. They don't know, you know, when you're doing sprints and you, you feel nearly feel sick, you're sparring until you feel like you can't breathe anymore. You know, it's cutting out all the food, constantly being hungry all day. You and all these people that doubt it, you try, you get in there for four, for, for four threes and you see how you feel for the average for the average person. <laughs> so if everyone doubts, mate, give it, give, give it a go yourself and then you come back to me after that. A lot of work goes into it and it's not something you can just go into like going, oh, I'm going to, oh, no, I wouldn't turn up and go, oh, I might be a professional tennis player today. It doesn't work like that. You've got to know what you're doing because if you don't, you'll get hurt. Mm. What's the response been like generally though? But in general, it's actually, I've had a really good response to it and I think just, just purely because I've been a, like, around the sport and people have seen me at shows and stuff like that. So I'm not, look, I've had the odd person say sort of something but that's like of anything. You can't please everyone but I'm just like staying positive and concentrating on what I've got to do and listening to my trainer. Of course, we focus on perhaps the, the negatives of having profile mm. and coming into boxing. Look, but, the, but there's also loads of advantages. You just told me that uh, the show that you're on yeah. uh, on the 10th of November, it's going to be not only on ITV, but BT. BT, too, yeah. So they're two credible channels. But like, the thing is, there's, 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 there's positive and negative and everything. Like, everyone, everyone's got an opinion and everyone's always got something to say. Do you know... It doesn't matter who you are, so it might there's a little bit of extra added pressure having a profile with it. But like I'm gonna I'm gonna use that, and I, and I'm confident enough in my ability to go and beat the person in front of me, and I'm confident enough that I've put in that I'm putting in enough effort the training. I'm pushing myself to go and get the win, and I know, and I know after that they'll go actually yeah the kid like, he can box. So um, BT Sport, ITV, November the 10th, Ultimate Boxer, yes. everyone oh, tune in? Yes, tune in. Okay. You must be just feeling better though, eating well and Mate, training. Just, honestly, like, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, like, I'm in the best place I've been in mentally for probably, uh, I'd say, last couple of years. What, did you have up and down, Jim? Mate, I've, I've, mate like, I've had some, yeah, like some, some wobbles, do you know what I mean? But like, I mean... Who hasn't? It's, you know, life ain't like plain sailing, is it? It's, it's up and ups and downs. But just training every day and having a... I think what I missed was ru is having a routine. Now I've got a routine. Everything else around my life seems to be getting better. Like my relationships with people and, you know... And, and do you know what, as well? I read Sank and it said about if you can control what you eat, you can control like most things around you. Like that's the first bit of self-control that you can have, really, is what you put into your body. So now I feel like I've got a lot more self-control. I mean, like, I had a little wobble at the start of training, but like, it was just adjusting to it. But now I feel like I've got much more self-control. I value myself more training and I feel, uh, yeah, and I just feel mentally in the best place I've been in a, in a long time. So I feel like every time I walk out of here, I feel like I've learned something and I've achieved something. Mm. I mean, that is the best place to start, eat well and train. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and I, I, like, I've been saying that like, on my sort of social channels, like, anyone that sort of kind of suffers with any any kind of anxiety stuff like go and put some gloves on go down to like a boxing gym and hit the bag for a few minutes i guarantee you'll feel better i guarantee you 
a lot of people who are watching this will relate to, to what you're saying. So what, what was, obviously now you've sorted it with eating well, training constantly. Yeah. What was causing it, you think? Do you know what? Like, it just, just, a, just, a num- just a number of things... Just a number of things. Like, to be honest, like, like, like you know, uncertainty, like, like lockdown, Daniel. I've always, mm. I've always suffered with anxiety, so that would heighten, that heightened around that time, and it was just like I was, I was you know, just, just all, all up now. There's every day where I was just like, oh yeah, for this. But listen, look, that's in the past now. I'm ready to rock and roll, mate. I might have an eight pack, not even a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen Jack best of luck uh, Thanks, for the rest mate. of the camp um, I'm sure one of our guys will be there on the 10th mm. uh, out on my boxer is there anything you'd like to say before we go I'm starving <laughs> <laughs> go on and I'll let you go and eat wicked see you so, that, man. Mate. thank you is your debt causing you sleepless nights knock your debt out with debt KO and your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.